Hi, I am Revant. This is part 2 of ESP.NET video series. In this session, we will learn how to give permissions to the virtual directory. Important synopsis we will understand in this video are why to give permissions to the virtual directory, type of errors without permissions, how to give permissions to the virtual directory, permissions for the inet per folder. So let's begin the tutorial. If you haven't watched part 1 of ASP.NET video series, I recommend to watch before proceeding this video. I have discussed IIS installation and configuration. If the project is not configured with uh, uh, proper permissions, IIS server throws an uh, error message to the browser as an internal server error. How to give permissions to the virtual directory? So giving permission to the virtual directory of our configured project, right click on the project, edit permissions. In, we need to configure this both of the permissions to run the project, IAS, IUSRS and IUSR. Let's we look in action. Open IAS. Now run the project. Right click manage application browse. So it throws HTTP error internal server error. Now let's we give the permissions for this project. Right click on the project. Go to security tab edit. Uh, click on add button. Go to advance. Click on find now and select control plus select this two and click ok click ok now select isurs and check these two check boxes and select iosr select these two check boxes click on ok button ok button now run the project. Now it displays the result. Giving permissions to the folder. Go to this path c colon slash and right click on the inetpo folder. Click on properties. Go to security tab and follow the same procedure which I have shown earlier. Thanks for watching. For references and resources visit these links and subscribe to my YouTube channel for email alerts. Thank you.